Matsya Sampada. It was a government which set up a separate department for fisheries, realizing the importance of assisting fishermen. This has resulted in doubling of both inland and aquaculture production. Seafood export since 2013-14 has also doubled. Implementation of Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana will be set up, stepped up to one, enhance aquaculture productivity from existing three to five tons per hectare. Two, double exports to one lakh crore rupees and three, generate 55 lakh employment opportunities in the near future. Five integrated aqua parks will also be set up. Lakpati Didi. Eighty-three lakh SHGs. Eighty-three lakh SHGs with nine crore women are transforming rural socio-economic landscape with empowerment and self-reliance. Honorable Speaker said, their success has assisted nearly one crore women to become Lakpati Didi already. They are an inspiration to others. Their achievements will be recognized through honoring them. Buoyed by the success, it has been decided to enhance the target for Lakpati Didi from two crores to three crores. Technological changes, new age technologies and data are changing the lives of people and businesses. They are also enabling new economic opportunities and facilitating provision of high quality services at affordable prices for all, including those at the bottom of the pyramid. Opportunities for India at the global level are expanding. India is showing solutions through innovation and entrepreneurship of its people. Research and innovation for catalyzing growth, employment, and development. Prime Minister Shastri, Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri gave the slogan of Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. Prime Minister Vajpayee, Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, made that Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan. Prime Minister Modi has furthered that to Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan and Jai Anusandan as innovation is the foundation of development. For, for our tech-savvy youth, for our tech-savvy youth, this will be a golden era. A corpus of one lakh crore rupees will be established with 50-year interest-free loan provided. The corpus will provide long-term financing or refinancing with long tenors and low and or nil I repeat that sentence, the corpus will provide long-term financing or refinancing with long tenors and low or nil interest rates. This will encourage, this will encourage the private sector to scale up research and innovation significantly in sunrise domains. We need to have programs that combine the powers of our youth and technology. A new scheme will be launched for strengthening deep tech technologies for defense purposes and expediting Atmanirbharta. Infrastructure development. Building on the massive tripling of the capital expenditure outlay in the past four years, resulting in huge multiplier impact on economic growth and employment creation, the outlay for the next year is being increased by 11.1% to 11,11,111 crore rupees. 
This would be 3.4% of our GDP. Railways. Three major economic corrid railway corridor programs will be implemented. These are energy, mineral, and cement corridor. Number two, port connectivity corridors. And number three, high traffic density corridors. The projects have been identified under the PM Gati Shakti for enabling multimodal connectivity. They will improve logistics efficiency and reduce cost. The resultant decongestion of the high traffic corridors will also help in improving operations of passenger trains, resulting in safety and higher travel speed for passengers. Together with dedicated freight corridors, these three economic corridor programs will accelerate our GDP growth and reduce logistic costs. Forty thousand normal rail bogies will be converted to Vande Bharat standards to enhance safety, convenience, and comfort of passengers. Aviation sector. The aviation sector has been galvanized in the past 10 years. Number of airports have doubled to 149. Rollout of air connectivity to Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities under Wudan scheme has been widespread. 517 new routes are carrying 1.3 crore passengers. Indian carriers. Indian carriers have proactively placed orders for over 1,000 new aircrafts. Expansion of existing airports and development of new airports will continue expeditiously. Metro and Namo Bharat. We have a fast expanding middle class and rapid urbanization is taking place. Metro Rail and Namo Bharat can be the catalyst for the required urban transformation. Expansion of these systems will be supported in large cities focusing on transit-oriented development. Green energy. Towards meeting our commitment for net zero by 2070, the following measures will be taken. Viability gap funding will be provided for harnessing offshore wind energy, for harnessing offshore wind energy potential for initial capacity of one gigawatt. Coal gasification and liquefaction.